June Haver, a notable figure in classic Hollywood, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Whether you recall her iconic performances or ponder which work defined her career, this legendary actress's legacy remains ingrained in cinematic history. What's your first memory of watching a film featuring her? As we delve into June Haver's journey, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to this classic Hollywood actor in the comments below. Stay tuned as we uncover funny, shocking, and sad facts about her life and career. Your stories are valuable additions to the tapestry of classic cinema. And now, without further ado, let's explore the fascinating world of this actress. Keep watching for intriguing insights and anecdotes that shaped her remarkable career. June Haver's filmography takes us on a captivating journey through classic Hollywood marked by timeless performances. For those new to her work, diving into must-watch movies is a delightful cinematic experience. One of her notable projects includes The Dolly Sisters, a musical film where exceptional talent and charm are on full display. The movie, set in the dazzling world of vaudeville, is a perfect introduction to on-screen charisma. Another gem in the filmography is Irish Eyes Are Smiling, a biographical musical that tells the story of composer Ernest Arbol. The portrayal adds a layer of grace to the film, making it a must-watch for enthusiasts of both classic cinema and musical biopics. For those seeking a touch of romance, Love Nest is a delightful choice. The romantic comedy, where a newlywood tries to set up a home, captures the essence of versatility as an actress. If in the mood for drama, Look for the Silver Lining is a compelling film based on the life of Marilyn Miller. The performance in this biographical piece is both poignant and captivating, offering a glimpse into the ability to portray diverse roles. For a lighthearted escape, Oh You Beautiful Doll is a charming musical comedy that showcases vivacity and comedic timing. The film is a delightful addition to the repertoire and a must-see for fans of classic Hollywood humor. In summary, whether drawn to musicals, romance, or drama, the filmography offers a variety of genres to explore. These must-watch movies provide a glimpse into the timeless talent of an actress who left an enduring mark on classic Hollywood cinema. June Haver's familial roots in the entertainment industry run deep. Her mother, Marie Stovner, had a previous stint as an actress. This early connection to the world of performance may have set the stage for her own journey in classic Hollywood. Interestingly, her introduction to husband Fred McMurray had a touch of Hollywood serendipity. According to their daughter Kate, the couple's paths crossed thanks to none other than John Wayne. It's a testament to the interconnected relationships that often shaped the lives of stars in the golden era of Hollywood. June, or Mrs. McMurray as she became, left behind a family that extends beyond her immediate kin. Survived by adopted daughters Kate and Lori McMurray, stepson Robert McMurray, stepdaughter Susan Poole, seven grandchildren, and four great-grandchildren, her legacy lives on in the hearts of those she called family. It reflects a life not only marked by the silver screen, but also by the bonds forged in the private moments beyond the glamour of Hollywood. June Haver's final resting place is alongside her husband, Fred McMurray, at Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City, California. Their mausoleum, located in D1, Room 7, serves as a quiet tribute to the enduring connection between the two Hollywood figures. Known as the Pocket Grable, she took a unique turn in her career when she left behind a weekly paycheck of three five hundred at 20th Century Fox. At the age of 22, she bid farewell to the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, choosing instead to embrace a life of devotion as a novice nun in the Sisters of Charity convent. This unexpected transition showcased a depth to her character that extended beyond the silver screen. In a revealing interview, Haver confirmed the existence of secret passages within her Havern home designed by a mysterious architect. While she chose not to delve into the specifics, the acknowledgement of these concealed features adds a touch of intrigue to her private life. The details of this conversation were witnessed firsthand by the writer conducting research on the architect, offering a glimpse into her world beyond the spotlight. Her decisions, both in her professional and personal life, shed light on the complexity of her character. From the bustling sets of Hollywood to the serene halls of a convent and the secrets concealed within her own home, her journey was one of unexpected turns and uncharted territories. The actress's narrative extends far beyond the roles played on screen, showcasing a woman with a fascinating and multifaceted life. 
Amidst June Haver's impactful Hollywood journey, lesser-known facets of her personal life add depth to the actress's character. In 1949, displaying compassion for her sister's struggles, she constructed an apartment complex in Westwood, California. The motivation was clear to address the difficulties her sister faced in securing housing due to having a child and a puppy. The premises were thoughtfully fenced to ensure the safety of the young ones, and each unit was equipped with closets featuring miniature hangers attuned to the needs of children's wardrobes. Notably, there was a policy prospective tenants without children need not apply. Interestingly, the name Haver wasn't a stage moniker for June. It was her stepfather's surname. This connection reflects the intricate web of familial ties that often intertwine with Hollywood stories. It's a subtle detail that adds a layer of personal history to her public persona. In 1996, a significant chapter closed in her life as she sold the expansive one, the 750-acre Healdsburg Ranch she shared with her late husband, Fred McMurray, to the Gallo family. Maintaining a residence in Brentwood, her final days unfolded in this estate where she eventually passed away in 2005. June Haver's footprint extends beyond the silver screen into the realm of real estate and family legacy. Her decisions, whether in building an apartment complex or selling a substantial ranch, reflect a woman attuned to the needs of others and mindful of familial connections. These glimpses into her personal life showcase a side that goes beyond the roles played on screen, revealing a woman with a compassionate and familial heart. June Haver's surname, pronounced Haver, not Haver, marked a distinctive note in her journey. In her early years, she encountered Jimmy Zito, a trumpeter, during her stint as a teenage big band singer for Ted Fiorito's band. Their marriage lasted a brief year from 1947 to 1948. Following this, an engagement with dentist John Duzik was cut short by his untimely death after routine surgery, preventing them from tying the knot. The film Where Do We Go From Here found her slated to sing Moral. However, as filming progressed from late 1944 into the post-war era, the relevance of the song waned. What began as a movie plotline about morality shifted, mirroring the changing times after the war's conclusion. Her life took an unexpected turn when she departed Hollywood, leaving behind a substantial weekly paycheck. At 22, she embraced a life of devotion as a novice nun in the Sisters of Charity Convent alongside her husband, Fred McMurray. This surprising transition revealed a depth to her character, emphasizing choices beyond the glitz and glamour of Tinseltown. In a revealing interview, she acknowledged the existence of secret passages in her Havern home designed by a mysterious architect. Though she didn't delve into specifics, the mention of concealed features added a touch of intrigue to her private life. These hidden elements provided a glimpse into the enigmatic world beyond the spotlight. Adding a layer of compassion to her character, June constructed an apartment complex in Westwood, California in 1949. Motivated by her sister's struggles to find housing with a child and a puppy, the premises were thoughtfully designed to accommodate the needs of families. Interestingly, the Haver surname wasn't a stage moniker, but her stepfather's weaving a subtle thread of familial ties into her public persona. In 1996, she parted with the expansive one 750-acre Healdsburg ranch she shared with Fred McMurray, selling it to the Gallo family. Her final days unfolded in Brentwood, maintaining a residence where she eventually passed away in 2005. This real estate decision, along with the construction of the apartment complex, showcased her compassionate and familial heart, extending her footprint beyond the silver screen.